this is an important moment uh, in Philadelphia, uh, and uh, I'm going to talk about it. All of you know, for decades, uh, our system of assessing property in Philadelphia has been completely broken, completely broken. It's unfair, inaccurate, and totally confusing. Properties of similar size, location, age, uh, or condition have widely different assessments. Or properties that would sell for significantly different amounts would actually have the same tax bill. A fundamentally bad system producing bad data led to a tax impact where many Philadelphians were billed too much in property taxes and some not paying their fair share. In 2010, voters of Philadelphia made abundantly clear that they wanted a new property assessment system dedicated to fairness, accuracy, and understandability. We created the Office of Property Assessment, working with Philadelphia City Council, also known as OPA, and hired Richie McKeithen as the city's first chief assessment officer. Under his professional leadership, OPA has overseen this major reform effort, decades in the making, but on, uh, under Richie's uh, leadership and on his watch, the move to the actual value initiative. They've undertaken the massive task of reassessing all real property in the city of Philadelphia. That's 579,000 parcels of property in our great city. This week, we reached a key milestone in the AVI process. We know the approximate total aggregate value for all properties in the city of Philadelphia. It's $96.5 billion for residential, commercial, and industrial properties. To generate the same amount of revenue in 2014 as we will in 2013, based on the $96.5 billion aggregate value of all properties in the city of Philadelphia, the tax rate would need to be around or approximately 1.3% if there are no tax relief measures in place. That rate would need to be about 1.4% with the homestead relief factored in and that was passed earlier this year uh, by City Council and signed by me. In addition, if there are other ideas and other uh, proposals uh, that may uh, arise in the course of the budget process uh, this upcoming uh, year, uh, just so you have some sense of uh, what that costs, each additional $10 million in relief adds about 0.01% uh, to the tax rates. Whatever combination of tax rate and, and relief measures the administration and city council ultimately choose and agree to, that will result in a much lower tax rate that is in place today. It is very important for every property owner to understand that rates will be reduced significantly. Presently, the rate in Philadelphia is approximately 9.77%. As I laid out to you, next year as we go through this process, the rate will be approximately one point something, depending on uh, what uh, relief measures uh, we ultimately agree to and get passed uh, by City Council and uh, signed by myself. The ABI tax formula will be much simpler and easier to understand. Multiply the market value of your property times the new tax rate and that will tell you what your 2014 tax bill will be. It is the ultimate in just mathematics. I want to reiterate that the projected rates I just mentioned are not final until City Council and the administration set a new rate in late spring of next year. That is, as always, is done through the budget process. And we expect that sometime uh, in possibly uh, April, May, mm -hmm hopefully not June, but sometime in the spring. Uh, when the budget process is passed, when a final tax rate is set, uh, we will know what that uh, final number is. In addition, there are a variety of variables that do affect what the ultimate tax rate is, like abatements, properties with exempt status, and the percent of taxes that are due 
which are also ultimately collected, also known as the collection factor. The $96.5 billion total aggregate value of all taxable properties in Philadelphia is not, though, the final number. About 3% of the properties in the city, roughly 16,000 parcels, have a variety of anomalies. For example, in some cases, the ratio between land and improvements for a given property made no sense. OPA should have the final confirmed values for those properties within the next couple of weeks. This likely will change the overall number of $96.5 billion, but the change should be minor, and we at this point expect that the number will possibly go up uh, just a little bit, but it is uh, in the billion, so it's, it does matter. With ABI, we have built a system that is fair and more accurate with a tax formula that is much simpler to understand. Our system is fixed, for the most part, but nothing ever, of course, is perfect. We will continue our daily efforts uh, to make sure that the system is working as best as possible. When this process is completed, some property owners will see their ultimate tax bill go up, and many will see their tax bill go down. We have put in place an appeals process system to help those who believe that their new values are wrong when they get them uh, next February. I've briefed uh, Philadelphia City Council and the Philadelphia delegation of both the House and the Senate on the total aggregate uh, property value number, as I've shared it with you here this afternoon. We will continue to work together to put various relief measures uh, forward to try to help alleviate some of the impact for some property owners who may see their tax bill go up. We've already put in place, of course, a homestead exemption as a relief tool. If you own and live in your home, you are eligible for the homestead exemption, but you have to apply. Now, earlier this year, we sent out application notices and put the form up on the city's website. Many people did fill it out. And of course, as some of you will recall, we were anticipating ABI and the Homestead uh, Exemption Program to go forward this year. As you well know, that did not happen. So at that point, we stopped uh, the Homestead uh, Exemption uh, application process. Getting ready for uh, where we are today, we restarted and then asked uh, property owners to get that form in by November 15th of this year in order for us to be able to put that exemption on their new assessment notice that they will get in February of 2013. But the true application deadline for homestead exemption uh, is July 31st, 2013. So people can still apply for homestead exemption right now, and they should do it right now. There is no reason for any eligible homeowner not to apply for the homestead exemption. We want people to apply. You should apply. It is an opportunity to help lower your tax bill. The difference here is if you applied by November 15th and were approved, you will see it on your February 2013 new assessment notice. If you miss the November 15th deadline, it does not mean that you're not eligible and it doesn't mean that you won't get it. It just means that it won't be reflected on your 2013 assessment notice. But the most important element here is, as long as you have applied, no later than July 31st, 2013, it will be on your tax bill that you will get in December of 2013. And that is ultimately the most important component here. You absolutely want to see it on your tax bill. Uh, and that's what will happen if you miss uh, the uh, November 15th deadline. Our next major ABI milestone, as I've mentioned, I've said this a couple times, but I want to point it out, will be in February, when the Office of Property Assessment will send out notices to property owners with their new ABI assessments for the 2014 tax year. One final note. Right now, Philadelphians are getting their 2013 tax bills in the mail. Remember, again, these bills are for tax year 2013, and because of the delay from earlier this year, we use the old values and, uh, unfortunately, the current 
uh, system uh, in making the 2013 uh, bills. Next year, for tax year 2014, we will be using the AVI system and values. We will also use it to construct our FY14 budget and five-year plan. The homestead exemption uh, and uh, any other relief tools that City Council uh, and, I develop, and our administration develop will all be a part of the FY14 budget and, of course, the FY uh, the, um, 2014 uh, tax year uh, billing system and process. All of those uh, will be put together uh, for uh, the 2014 uh, tax year and bills. And so with that, we'll be glad to try to answer any questions that you might have.